One of the untold stories of the Middle East today is what's happening to the Christian population there. Many are fleeing areas like the West Bank city of Bethlehem because Muslims are persecuting them. Gary Lane has more in today's Focus Report. Bethlehem is the birthplace of Christ and was once a Christian city. But today, Christians are only about 10 to 15 percent of the population here. Some observers say if the mass exodus continues, within another generation, it could become a city of Christian holy sites without any Christian residents. Justice Weiner believes that is happening. He spent years investigating persecution and the exodus of Christians in the Palestinian territories. The Christians who uh, once were the uh, dominant uh, commercial and economic force in these towns have seen their numbers dwindle, they've seen their land uh, stolen or expropriated, they've been forced uh, uh, to sell or to close their businesses, uh, they sense uh, hostility walking down the street, they're afraid to wear crosses, they uh, sometimes are abused uh, verbally as they go to church. Despite this mass exodus, members of the First Baptist Church here in Bethlehem have chosen to stay, to be a beacon of light in this community. And for that, some have paid a high price. That's because not only do they share their faith with others, but they embrace the Old Testament along with the New, the entire Bible as the Word of God, including the promises to the Jews. We as born-again Christians uh, believe in God's promise with Abraham. It's an everlasting covenant from God, an everlasting covenant with Abraham, he made it with him and all his offsprings. That is not very respected in our culture. For that, they are persecuted, not only by Muslims who see them as Zionist supporters of Israel, but also by traditional Christians who embrace a belief known as replacement theology. Replacement theology is the idea that Christians have replaced the Jews as God's chosen people. And like the Muslim majority, many say God gave Israel and the Palestinian territories to them, not the Jews. Churches that teach otherwise are attacked because they are viewed as Zionists, betrayers of the Palestinian cause. First Baptist of Bethlehem has been firebombed 14 times, and two young women were shot to death for inviting non-Christian children to vacation Bible school. Persecution has made our church stronger. I've been beaten up and shoved in trash cans just for someone's reason for discipling uh, other young men who are from another faith. My father has been, been shot at three single separate times for one separate reason, carrying that cross and walking every day and, and professing Jesus Christ and, and Him alone. Our church families uh, get, get persecuted every day. CBN News brought you the story in September 2003, just days after Pastor Naeem Khoury was shot. Today he's back in the pulpit, but he's receiving continuous death threats. Pastor Khoury has an entire congregation standing beside him. But many Palestinian Christians, Muslim and other Arab converts to Christ, suffer alone. Like this man, we'll call him Mukhtar. His family disowned him, called him a snake, and threatened to behead him when he became a Christian. We've disguised his voice and face to protect him from retribution. Mukhtar was severely beaten and was hospitalized with several cracked ribs and vertebrae as a result. Arab converts to Christianity like Mukhtar and many Palestinian believers say they know God is with them in their suffering. They pray the body of Christ around the world will not forget them. Gary Lane, CBN News, Bethlehem.